Today, we're gonna to be tying a jig version of my olive retriever. We're gonna start off with some flat black ultra thread in 140. Secure that to the hook and snip free. Next, we'll wrap up towards the head of our fly. Grab some lead free wire and secure that to the hook shank. Helicopter free and wrap back towards the back of the fly. We'll then grab some olive marabou. We're just going to use the tips for this pattern and measure that out to be about one and a half times the hook shank's length. Transfer that measurement to the back of the hook and secure in place. To help build up our body, we will fold the marabou back, wrap our thread towards the head of the fly, fold the marabou back over, and once again secure in place. Trying your best to trap any feathers as we move back towards the back of the fly. So we can snip the excess free. Grab some olive flash. We're going to need about four strands and secure that to the back of the hook. Then we'll fold over the flash and secure it on the opposite side. Snip the flash free. We'll have it just a bit longer than our marabou. Grab some UV Estaz and use our thread to secure that to the hook shank. Next, we'll use our thread to cover up any visible fibers underneath, building up a nice smooth body leading to the head of our fly. You want to keep this thread body flat and bulk it up just slightly. Once we're happy with our body and no fibers are visible through the black thread, we will grab our estaz, pull the fibers backwards, and begin to wrap that up in open spirals to the head of our fly. Secure by taking thread wraps both in front as well as behind the estaz, and then snip free. To secure everything in place, we will grab our whip finisher and create a several turn whip finish to the head of the fly. One of the things I love to do with this pattern is build up a strong, prominent black band. But you can take as many or as few thread wraps as you want, as long as it's securing it properly. And that is the jig version of the olive retriever. This adds a different movement in the water, and it can also help you prevent from getting hooked up on the bottom. Definitely recommend giving it a try. If you want to see more patterns like this, make sure you go down below, hit subscribe, and if you like this video, hit the like button. And I will see you in the next video.